It's like Aldi on roids. I mean, Aldi roided up. What will have me going back is the little finds, like the weekly finds. Whoa, it's like Aldi times a thousand. So guess what they opened around the corner from me? First of all, I had never heard of this grocery store until I found out that they were building one close to me and I was like, okay, let me see, let me see what they're talking about here. It's called Little and I think I'm pronouncing that right. If not, please correct me in the comments. It's spelled L-I-D-L. -L. And honey, they've been sending me coupons and I got a little flyer here. It's giving me very much Aldi vibes because they have like, I guess they have like an Aldi finds type of like section in the store because they have everything from gardening supplies to camping supplies of course groceries and food and stuff here's the flyer I'm gonna see what I could stock up on because you know what I'm starting to realize like first of all the price of groceries are just outrageous and if it's something that's on sale that I can stock up on I'm just gonna start stockpiling this kind of stuff you know non-perishables and so yeah they have quite a few things here like air mattresses umbrellas oh my kids really love these pretzels albacore tuna four pack that's the exact same kind of tuna that they have at Costco that's like $15 I don't know if the cans are smaller or, what, or whatnot but then they gave me this so I'm gonna see I'm gonna take that with me to see and look at this little camping supply here this is so cute I, we just booked our camping trip for this this summer so I'm excited about that girl we're going back camping you know if you haven't seen that camping video you can tap this eye right here it's very funny um, but I, at the end of that camping video I was like questioning if I ever wanted to camp again and I was thinking about selling all the stuff that I bought but we decided to give it another try so I'm gonna go and look at that for sure so let's get over there and see what they have and prayerfully I'll be able to film because I don't know some stores are crazy about that kind of stuff others are not so we'll see when I get there before we continue thank you so much to factor for sponsoring today's video so factor basically it makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh never frozen dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep so you basically have your meals cooked for you okay they are done all you have to do is pop them in the microwave or the oven to warm them up they're fresh they're not frozen and this is so perfect for anyone who has really large weight loss journey or a weight loss goal or even a wellness or or health journey that you're on where you're focusing on nutrition really um, trying to make sure that you are eating food that makes you feel good and that is healthy for your body this is a way to make sure that that is what you're doing and it's so so convenient because trust me I know how much mental energy it takes to focus on everything that you eat and you know all the weight that I've lost over the years doing keto like 80 to 90 percent of that has been been because of the things the choices that I decided to eat and sometimes it's really really hard especially when other people in your family are not eating the same way that you are so with factor having these meals readily available when you get really hungry or you're getting you're feeling very distracted or you're feeling very tempted having those meals right there in the refrigerator so all you have to do is wait a few minutes for it to, to be ready for you is so so worth it so you don't have to worry about prepping anything or a mess or trying to meal plan and go grocery shopping and make sure you have everything that you need it's all wholesome eating they're it's simple meals and they're so so good they have a variety of meals that include whatever your lifestyle is whether it's keto calorie smart chef's choice vegan or veggies it includes seafood meat or plant-based meals it's just really really convenient and for my husband and i we work from home so having these here for our lunches have been amazing so if you're interested head to go.factor75.com slash gia120 and use code gia120 to get 120 dollars off the special offer and the and the link is in the description box girl first of all it is so crowded i mean i had to like ride around the parking lot to find a spot it's not very huge 
like a big store, like a Super Kroger or anything like that, but I just wasn't expecting for it to be so crowded. So let me get my little coupon in case I need it. I don't know if the, you like have to bring your own bags because I just have one bag. I don't know. Let's let's just go in and see. Got some hanging baskets and these beautiful calla lilies. I love calla lilies. They're so pretty. $7.99. Not bad for the hanging baskets. 10 inch. Okay, off the rip, it does feel like an Aldi. Just taking a look at their produce, because, like, I mean, the prices are so expensive everywhere. Well, that's not bad. Three green bell peppers, because usually these are 99 cents each at a Kroger. They have plants over here on the other side. These petunias are $4.99. Aww. Oh, these are perennials, so they'll come back. I'm sorry it's so loud, y'all, but look at these. Potted mints and basil and parsley. Definitely want to get some of this. Well, the bakery sure does look delicious, y'all. It is so crowded. This is way bigger than Aldi, though. A lot bigger than Aldi, for sure. Well, the prices are definitely better than Kroger and Publix, because this nature's own bread is like $3.99 at Kroger. At Kroger. Of course, it's the cheapest at uh, Costco. Just looking to see what they have in the refrigerated sections here. I like their freezers. It's nice. Everything's so new and clean. I wonder if it's as good as like Trader Joe's freezer section. Oh, wow, that's pretty expensive for Hawaiian rolls. Oh, it's the King's 24 rolls, but still, it's kind of high. Better price at uh, Costco. Ava loves Nutella. She's almost out, so I'm gonna get her another jar. I don't know how much it is though. Oh gosh, here's that noise again. It's so loud. They have grass fed ground beef. I like they have the lean and then more fat in it. The fat one is $7.69. That's so expensive. The organic ground beef at Aldi is I believe $5.99 per pound, but it's better, better price at Costco for sure. I just like to see what kind of meat selections they have and cuts they have. Definitely smaller packaging, you know. It's hard to buy these if you have a large family. You know what I mean? Even for the four of us, this wouldn't be a lot enough. I'd have to use two packs of those now that the girls are older. So it's always good to keep that kind of stuff in mind because it's not necessarily worth the money if you have to buy so many packages. Okay, they sell Purdue chicken. I like Purdue chicken a lot. Not everything. I think this is the same brand that they have at Aldi, if I'm not mistaken. But they don't have any organic chicken. It's hard to find even chicken wings. Do they even have, oh, here's the chicken. Okay, $3.79 a pound. Not, not the greatest. It's a little cheaper than Kroger, but still so crazy for wings. Look at those little chairs. That's cute. Okay, this is the aisle that I like here. Yeah, it's so much like, are this, is this like a sister store to Aldi? Leave a comment down below and let me know because like, I just, it's, it's so similar. Like new items every Wednesday. These little chairs are so cute. $9.99 for the little ones. $16.99 for the bigger ones. Dang it, they don't have any more. Oh. These little side tables, cute, $9.99, classic side tables. Good for camping, we are going camping, I mentioned that, but let's see. This is a cute little outdoor rug, round. They have round and rectangular. I think, well, I only see the rounds here, but it's cute, $9.99. Then they have the patio chair covers, table and chair cover. Is that two pieces or? Just separate. I think they're separate. $9.99. Look at this little privacy screen. Huh. That's cute. How much is that? It doesn't say. Oh, the privacy screen is $19.99. It's right there. Okay, storage boxes. Basket set organizer. $8.99. Okay, $8.99 for this one. And then $8.99 for this set of what? One, two, three, four. Cute, cute. Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm, this may be worth me coming here every Wednesday for sure. I don't know about the food, but this kind of stuff I love. Here's the patio furniture for the table, $9.99. I love these reverse umbrellas. I bought one, I, I want to say from like Ross a couple years ago. It's game changer. Because when you get in the car, that way all the water doesn't get in your car because the umbrella is folding upwards. Um, and so all the water is inside. Genius. Now this is a steal. Okay, $1.99 for this bassinet rain shield for your stroller. Cute, right? $1.99, can't beat that. You could throw that in as a baby shower gift. That's nice. Harry Potter umbrellas. Oh man, the ceramic plant pots. 
with the metal stand was only $3.99. They're all gone already. This store just opened yesterday. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Slime line lamp. Okay. Let's see. Self adhesive. Is this textile paper? Huh. That's cute. I don't need it though, so I'm just gonna say no. Watercolors, okay. Okay, buckets and trash cans. $6.99, okay. Storage container, $3.99. Look at these little baskets, collapsible crates. $4.99, that's how small they are. That's really cute. Good for camping, I bet, too. Cause I, I've gotta redo all of my camping gear so that it's, I use it properly. Let's see. You know, I can use this for my gardening stuff outside, right? Hmm, let me think about it. Wow, look at this greenhouse. Wow, that's nice. What's this, compost bin? Okay, little, come on through. They have this exact same leaf blower at Aldi. Well, I don't know if it's the exact same, but it was in a dark green box like this. $19.99, I can't remember the price. Wow, weed brushing, self-watering planter with support. Wow, let's see, $19.99. Wish I had some planter bowls so I can plant my flowers and I still need to go to Home Depot. Wow, look, it's a portable trash bag holder. How much is that? I don't know how much that is. I wish I could see what it looks like. That would be good use for camping but I just don't want to overdo it like I did for camping and get kind of nutty you know oh I think it looks like that huh that's interesting duvet sets the sheet sets are already gone wow little pillows that's cute bath and body over here these are cute chairs fluffy socks for kids oh just tank tops and stuff boss babe self made oh look at the little shopping bag $2.99, cute, super cute. Vacation fun, saving your coins. That's a really cute gift. Children's rug, manicure sets. Let's see, what's this? Trunk liner organizer. Huh, interesting. Oh, folding wheelbarrow, interesting. Probably can't hold much though. Look at this, here's the gardening box. I said I needed a storage box for outside, $49.99. They have a smaller one for $29.99. Maybe I should get this one. It's that big one, I don't know, that might be too big. Look at this, another greenhouse, wow. Hmm, I'm gonna think about it. They have clothes and shoes, maternity clothes. Like a good t-shirt, what's this say? Plant Mom, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That is so cute, Plant Mom. Gosh, that's extra large, it looks so small. Who could fit that, is this for women's or kids? Wow, three tiers, drying rack, $7.99. Underwear, what's that? Children's blanket, okay. Oh, look at that shelving unit. All right, the music is kind of loud, $24.99. Wow, craft boxes, okay. Sewing storage tote, all right. Wow, look at that party girl. Huh, is it electric? With a granite stone and reversible griddle on top? Wow, see, that's so nice. <laughs> Really nice, $39.99. Look at all the clear containers. Wow, you get two for $3.99? Now that's not bad, because one of these is like $3.99 at Ross or Michaels or something like that. It's not a heavy plastic, if you know what I mean. It's not like the quality of the home edits line at Walmart. But you get two for $3.99, that's pretty cheap. They have all different sizes. Now these, you just get one for $3.99. white for your pantry. What's this, a bottle organizer? Oh, it's so small though. I don't know, it's like, you just don't have like one random bottle of water in your fridge. You have the egg container. Only fits 12 eggs though. But I guess you could stack them on top of each other. Very cute, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. We are still going in this, <laughs> isn't this crazy? Look at this gazebo. Collapsible gazebo. When I was looking for something like this um, last year when we went camping, they were all at a minimum of $100. I think I spent $100 for mine. Wow. Shade sails. You could use these when you go camping too. I don't want to get crazy though with my camping. 
Look at this. A little fire pit. Gas grill. LED light set. Hmm. Okay. All the little electrical stuff. Protector. Digital soldering station. I don't even know what that means. Trunk liner. Drill. Wow. Wow, interlocking floor mat. I need this. I should get this for our eat. How big is this? Let me think now. Hold on, I gotta do the math. I'm not even gonna tell you how long I've been standing here trying to do this math to tr figure out the area. <laughs> My tent is 12 by 18 feet. Okay, and I wanna cover the majority of the tent. This covers 60 by 31 and a half inches. So that's five by six feet in one of these. And I was trying to figure out. Listen girl, I'm just gonna buy six and call it a day. Call because I just been playing with this my calculator. I need and I need to focus. Oh wow. I think I bought this for my husband from like five below. This exact one, or either maybe Amazon. It's only $1.99. Well actually I don't know, it doesn't say. They have the little rugs here. $14.99. I'm looking for the camping table. Where is that at? Oh look at that little wagon. That's cute. $8.99. Got little toys, okay. Wow, they have the Squishmallow brand. Little mini Squishmallow brand. What's that? Let's see, what is this? flip -a -mallows. cute! What are these? Aren't these adorable? They flip inside out, I don't know how much they are. It's really cute though. I don't have the camping set because it's only this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, so I may come back this one. See these weekend sales, Saturday and Sunday only. I didn't read that part. Hmm. Doritos are so expensive anymore, it's like kind of not even worth it, you know? I was looking for pretzels for my girls. See, these are cheaper at Aldi. They're Aldi brand pretzels. Way cheap. Oh, they have the honey mustard and onion though by Snyder's for $2.29. That's not bad. Even though the bag is kind of small. But yeah, it's cheaper at Aldi. I think they're like right at a dollar at Aldi instead of $147. Gosh, these frozen pizzas look delicious, don't they? I have I love their frozen section. It's just the freezers are so nice. Organized and clean. This is all dessert. For also cheaper at Aldi. $2.74 for these uh, pretzels. My kids like these. Texas toast. Yeah, $169. It's nothing, you know. That's a whole lot cheaper. Okay, so I'm home. My first impressions of Little is that it's like Aldi on roids. I mean, Aldi roided up, okay? And I'm here for it. For the groceries, I mean, some of the things were cheaper than like Publix and Kroger, then other things were not. Like if I went there for like my normal weekly stuff, like fruits and bread and vegetables and stuff like that that we go through every week, I feel like it wouldn't be any cheaper than Kroger. You know, for me, Kroger's the easiest. I can literally like walk to Kroger. But what will have me going back is the little fines, like the weekly fines. Whoa, it's like all the times a thousand. Aisles and aisles of all those little things. And you know, girl, you know me. Well, I'm assuming you guys know me, but most of you guys who are watching probably know me. Girl, I'm here for those random finds that I just will spend my coins on. <laughs> And so that's kind of what happened this week. Um, will I shop there for sales? Absolutely. Because at, at this point, with the grocery prices being the way they are, at Kroger the other day, a bag of Dunkin' Donut coffee was $15.99. And that's for like the larger bag, $15.99. Not a huge bag, but just the larger bag from the next size up from this, like the next size up from this was $15.99, which is, normally that would be like $11.99 or something like that. So I'm just like, girl. So for me, what I wanna start doing, and you guys let me know if you're interested in this, is I wanna start shopping the weekly like sales at the stores. So at Little, I'll go there, depending on what's on sale. Aldi, same thing, Kroger, Publix. Costco is a staple, like I'll always buy my meats from Costco. Those certain things, that items that I buy from Costco all the time, I'm just gonna always buy. But someplace like Little, with their random finds every single week, I will go someplace like that. Like I'm gonna go back this weekend and get that camping chair set. I think that that would be helpful. But everything else for camping, we pretty much have. But we'll see with the sales as far as groceries, if that's someplace that I will go. 
back for. So anyway, let me show you what I got. I got some Nutella, some peanut butter. These weren't necessarily that much cheaper than Kroger. I just got them because I know we were running low on peanut butter and this is something that I wanna start stockpiling when it is on sale because we love peanut butter so much and it's, you know, it could be a staple in your pantry. How about these girl, cause I don't know. I was starting to get hungry. This was a hungry hunger purchase. And then I got my plants, my mints, fresh mints that I'm so excited about. It smelled so good in my car. I'm going to keep these indoors this time. I tried to take my mint outside last, last season and it didn't do well. I don't know if it was too hot or if I wasn't watering them enough, but my basil did amazing indoors right over here by my sink. I just threw away last the one that i bought last year's like a month ago where it finally stopped growing so it grew all throughout winter for me so i'm going to try to do the same thing and just put these over here where my sink is because i get a lot of light over here and kind of water them and nurture them like that I also bought this i'm gonna put this together and put it out in my garden to see how I like it. So I bought this to see uh, if I don't like it, I will be taking it back, but it's something that I just needed. I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say that this was a good deal. It was $29.99, but I needed it for my garden. And so I bought it. And then the other things that I bought are these mats for the floor of my tent. I did not have this last time, but I kind of wish I would because it helps save the bottom of your tent, especially if it's like, gravel that you're gonna be having your tent on and when you're walking on that it's kind of rough especially when you take your shoes off so i wanted this for the inside of my tent i'm gonna put these together a little later to see if it fits if everything fits together we will see if not i'll have to buy some more but the reason why i bought these is because you get eight of them typically you only get like four or six but you get eight in a pack for 8.99 these are not cheap but again it's something that i wanted for camping. And then the last thing I got, well, actually I bought six of these. We'll see if I need more. Is this collapsible basket. These little baskets come in handy, I find. I keep them in my car typically when we go camping. They're, they're useful to have because they collapse down so flat and they're easy to store, you know, and then use whenever. I, at first I, I bought this for outside of my garden, but I think I'm gonna use this for when we go camping. So that is that. So that's everything that I bought. I had a $10 off coupon and with the $10 off coupon, it came to $102.89. Again, the garden box was $29.99. Each of those foam pads, $8.99 a pack. And that's really what the cost of this <laughs> was. But we'll see if I'm going to keep that garden box when I put it together, if it's like too small or if it's just not worth it, I'm not going to keep it. And I may have to go back and get some of those pads. We'll see, but I'm gonna go back this weekend to get get that uh, little camping chair set that I talked about. So let's get this garden box together and let's put these pads down to see if they will fit my tent. 102 I wasn't expecting to spend that, but this isn't a grocery, this isn't for groceries. Like the majority of this will come out of like our vacation budget, which would be the camping. So I'm excited. Let me go ahead and, and see if I'm gonna keep these other things. I'm gonna take you guys along, putting this garden box, box together and see how it goes. Okay, y'all. So have you put this together for me last night? It's a lot bigger than I thought. I like the fact that the, the the top just has like a, oops, oh, did I break it? Let me fix that. There we go, it's just a swivel. So I like, you see all of this underneath here? That's why I bought this. And so this actually fits perfectly underneath this, see? So I'm gonna pull everything out the stuff that I want to put in there and put in there. Obviously those buckets aren't going to go in, but all that other stuff can go in. So I think that that's really useful. So the consensus is that it is not enough to cover the floor, but it's okay. We don't have to cover the whole floor. We'll just put it like, have like a little walking path in the tent. I'm thinking, not a walking path. Obviously the tent isn't that big, but I'll put it underneath the sleeping cots, like where, you know, the points, like the four points, and then maybe just like walking around our beds. I'll just use them for that. And then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and keep everything really happy. I'm not gonna go back and get that camping set from Little because I showed my husband, he was like, listen, we've gotta like, we can't take as much stuff as we did last time. And I'm like, am I gonna, are we gonna fit all this? And I'm like, well, where are we gonna eat at? It's just a lot, y'all. So just stay tuned if you are interested in any of that kind of stuff because I have all that kind of content coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.